right guys so day 33 we actually weighed in at 196.5 so i think the rice actually probably makes me retain more water weight and that's probably why i weigh more after eating rice because during the cut i didn't eat any rice i still ate carbs i ate a good amount of carbs too but yeah i don't understand that that's weird. That's really weird. I ate way more carbs on the Thanksgiving cheat days, but I only weighed, I actually lost 0.6 pounds on those days. And I still drink a ton of water. Guys, I drink literally like 10 to 15 bottles of water a day. Like, it's crazy. I don't know why my weight is like that. Today's uh, breakfast, you know, we got all the blueberries, we got the bananas on the peanut butter oatmeal. And the bananas, I've been putting them in the fridge and it's been a couple uh, days, almost a week since I bought these. And the skin goes brown, but everything on the inside is like perfect banana so i'm not really worried about it you know i just figured i'd show you because i feel like a lot of times people uh, from the u.s will throw bananas out when they look like this but banana on the inside is completely fine so i mean it's cool man but i'm gonna down this and then i gotta figure out what i want to do today because it's not gonna be a rest day we're still gonna get working i'm thinking maybe like calves and forearms just some accessory stuff that i wouldn't normally hit like individually why not you know it's some it's body groups that haven't worked although calves calves would be a part of technically legs um they would be very isolated a lot different than like my upper leg so i don't know i'll figure something out but we're gonna do something so day 33 guys i wasn't planning on going out and then i was thinking about it i don't want to take two rest days that's just cheating myself but it's also since it's not sunday i'm not going to do a chest day so instead i'm just gonna run three miles start up the chest day on monday because it's just too late to do it it's two in the morning i don't want to do a full workout when the sun's coming up like i won't be going to sleep when the sun's coming up so we're just gonna go out we're gonna run i'm gonna hit my three miles and i'll show you guys the aftermath we'll come back eat dinner check in on the physique and yeah but the lifting isn't even gonna burn that many calories regardless so running overall if i was trying to bulk then I probably would just take the rest day. If I was trying to main gain, I'd probably just take the rest day. But since I'm cutting, I'm gonna take the calorie deficit. I'm gonna make sure we hit the calories burn. And yeah, let's get it. The time doesn't tell it, but that was actually our fastest three mile run yet. I didn't go past a minute 15 break. So active running time was double the resting time. All in all, probably 30 some odd, 40 minutes of running cardio. 26 minutes of active running time, but that's an all time best. Literally the first two miles, only a minute break each. I really try to push my limits on rest days, or not rest days, on before rest days or, you know, right before rest days. But I'm gonna show you the legs before we get back because the lighting should be better for that. Me and Kentrell pr but I don't know if this lighting is actually better for showing off the wheels. You can see definite calf development, like, Oh, that can't be argued. Um, but overall, man, I'm not mad at it. Cause guys, listen, all this running we're doing, it's gonna be very hard to put on muscle mass on the legs. So what we have attained so far, as far as definition goes, might be from body fat loss, might be from actual mass gain or even both. But regardless, I'm cool with it all. You can see up here, right where my finger is, that part of the quad coming through. But calves are still super bad. Although they do get very tired from the running, so I'm not mad at it. We'll work on those too. After the cut or during the cut, we'll throw in some stuff, but you know how it goes. We're running a lot, so don't expect much out of the wheels. All right, so now we're back, and I'm also gonna show you guys the legs again. So while I'm editing, I can actually see like I, like side by side what it looks like, and also so you guys can see side by side instead of having to like toggle off to a video or waiting for tomorrow. It's more convenient if I just show you in this for all of us, it's better, so. This is what, oh dude, my abs are so sore for the pull-ups, dude. But overall, we're definitely getting leaner. Like I could just feel body fat peeling. We're getting, we're getting lean regardless of everything. Even if some days it might look like we're stagnating, trust, bro, just trust. Trust the process. So this is what we're looking like, day 33. Technically, we'll call it like a halfway rest day, just cardio day, it's a cardio day. But this is what the frame's looking like from the side. This is me relaxed. This is me sucking in right here. And you'll notice my frame, the way my abs are inserted, I guess you could say, it's like a roll cage, I like to call it, because the abdominals at the top are very high and out, and then my lower abs are way further back. So it's kind of, it kind of sits on a slant on my frame. Uh, but yeah, so I think now we're starting to get a little bit more definition, probably partially due to the actual pull-ups itself causing this uh, muscle to be sore, maybe uh, more sensitive and contracting where I don't really understand, I don't know. 
It's just a guess, but overall back looking good. Overall, lat development should be able to see some good lat development even from the back and then from the front, which I really care most about my lats, honestly, and just getting my overall developing a wider back because uh, until I get really low in body fat for me, which is probably around like 12 to 15 percent, uh, my waist is very blocky until I get really lean for me. And when you guys look at my back, all of this right here is just body fat. All of this, there's no actual bone or tissue here other than body fat and skin. But like my frame pinches all the way down here and that's how thin my waist gets. And then from here, it's my hip bones. So I get, my waist does get pretty thin. I learned that during my senior year wrestling season when I got really lean. And after I finished the season, uh, I got even leaner. And that's when I learned that. But now I'm gonna talk you guys down. And we're gonna see how the quads look compared to the gym. All right. So this should be pretty easy. I might've just showed you my ball, but I don't really care. So quad development is definitely there for certain. Uh, overall, I could just tell by my body, just different areas were starting to get separation. Uh, I could see in like just straight dead on lighting too. Maybe I'll show you guys later uh, when I'm in my room, that mirror, and you'll be able to see. But it's noticeable, it's very noticeable now. Uh, probably when we switch out the rice for protein powder, it'll be even more noticeable, but you guys are gonna have to be the judge of whether or not this lighting is better. Get let me know in the comments below. But definitely progressing, guys. Listen, listen, better than yesterday is what we're shooting for, and over time that builds. But if you want to learn grit, how to toughen up, how to train harder, push yourself, join your wrestling team, boy or girl does not matter. If you're intimidated, nobody will shit on you for trying. That's the thing. Like even if you suck. As long as you try your best, everybody can respect that. It's when you slack off, don't try as hard, dick around, beat around the bush, and not apply yourself. That's when you get shit. But if you actually try your hardest, and we could physically see you trying, everybody's gonna respect you. Everybody will. Everybody will fuck with you. So, that's my thing. Join the wrestling team. If you need to learn, you'll learn over training then. But even then, guys, in your hardest practices, your body will still be able to handle it. You just gotta build up mental strength. All right guys, so that is the end of day 33. I'll show you my breakfast, but it's not the end of the video because tomorrow we have the rest day, day 34. And I'm still gonna show you guys what we, what we look like with just a full day of eating and no working out. Regardless though, tonight we got the eggs cooked perfectly, exactly how I like them, runny yolk, well done on the outside, runny yolk, and then everything else is cooked through. We got the rice, and then at the bottom, we have the last of the dark, thigh meat so actually we have some white uh chicken breast which thankfully lines up with the actual rest day so honestly i might just show you how i cook them you know what we'll do that because it's a rest day not much going on and in that case guys today right now is probably the end of the video so if you enjoyed the video please like the video subscribe channel and turn on post notifications i'll catch you guys in the next one deuces